Yeah, we are, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get the super dope split screen effect right here. It is really, really popular right now. And everybody like using it. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So in After Effects, in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips. Actually, there's like three clips if I hide this one. As you can see, it's like three clips right here. But in this second scene right here, in here where he holds his gun like this we're gonna make the split screen right here so to start off what i like to do is go over to this drop down right here and just turn on proportional grid real quick and what we'll do is just like bring up this grid lines right here so this is the center line we're gonna like reference to make the like the split screen so firstly i'm gonna hide my footage tree and bring up this and i'm just set it on the side according to it maybe scale it up put it right here because this is the middle line right here i want it like pretty distant from there so something like this and then we're gonna bring up our second footage which is this one and just slide it in towards here and i guess that's perfect right there not gonna lie now then after you align your two footages something like this you can just take your marks tool right here which is the pen tool right here or you can hit z in a keyboard draw marks from the center so something like this the marks doesn't actually have to be perfect not gonna lie but something like there and then we can just hide the proportional grid again and then selecting the marks layer all you gotta do is hit f in a keyboard to bring up the marks in there and then just bring up the feather so we have a little bit of feather right there it looks real cool maybe you can bring it in something like this so it like blends in right here maybe you can just like do it something like this right here and then now you can see we already have a really smooth like a split screen going on you can leave it right here if you want but if you like me and you like to add sauce in your like fx i got you for sure so see what we're gonna do is make an adjustment layer maybe just trim my timeline till here so it's better to see and just trim the adjustment layer so it's on top of our like this footage only then firstly in here you can add a hue and saturation and lower down the saturation i like to do this because it looks real hard i feel like bring it up at first and put this keyframe around the last and lower it down at at the first or something like this yeah something like that right there and you can add like a curves make a s curve in here so we get that depth that we want yeah that looks super hard not gonna lie so there you can add something like a warp in here and in warp just set it to fish eye and just bring the amount to negative oh it's like glitching right here maybe you can just like click on both of these and it should fix it right there yes sir make the warp something like this so it so it has a little bit of warp right there and you can even add like a optic compensation with it to add some optics at the edges as well yeah something like there maybe i'm gonna go here and just like put it something like this so it's a little down to us right there and now after this you can create another adjustment layer and in this adjustment layer if you have my preset you can open up my user preset and use my essential effects in here so what i like to use in here is a part of the chroma and just like line it up because my footage is like 1080p i just gotta like center it up and also a radio blur right here then that easily if we play through you can see we have a crazy puddle effect going on right there if you don't like the chroma you can just like disable the distort chroma right there and what i like to do again is like extend these keyframes of this puddle so it is a little longer right there maybe the amount is too much uh yeah something little like there then you can even add like a uh, adjustment layer on top of that as well yeah that pearl right there looks super hard right there so if you want to grab essential effect i'll link it in the description if you don't know it is basically a preset pack that you can drag and drop and add some crazy effects to your music video it comes with 40 plus preset in there and every single one of those presets is like actually goated because i put it so much time into it bro like it can save a lot of time of yours and i also use it on like every single project of mine too so so it can like help you like edit like me type shit so yeah i'll link it in the description if you want to grab it it's on my side but if you don't have it just like use like uh what you can say like just use a warp portal and just animate there then after this we can associate up more by adding another like adjustment layer right here 
and add something like chromatic aberration right here unique chromatic aberration if we have and what it will do it adds some like chromatic aberration in the edges and i think that looks really hard as well maybe lower down the radial blur a little bit on the chromatic aberration and if you like you can go over to where it says lens texture and in lens texture it's just like play with all of these to get some like different like lens texture in the edges uh the, these look super cool on these like y and type of videos so you can just play around on texture amount you can play around with the max radius and that easily you can see we have some lens texture at the edges right right there going on and now to transition it better all you can do is like add a one framer right here with the exposure and our directional blur now gaussian blur and just set it to something like horizontal and just bring it up maybe put this before exposure so we basically have like a one framer right here and bring up it more and you can even add like a levels with it on levels and just like cross the highlights and see. so it is like a little like contrasty and that right there i guess looks super hard maybe you can make it two frame it is a little faster and maybe you can add a, a one frame up beforehand as well so it goes like there in here just remove the glass and blur and the exposure so it is like a flash and then that goes like there so it's like a flash at first and it goes into this like contrasty flash right here so now we have played through it goes like bang bang and <laughs> goes into our like the split screen bro that sound is so curly not gonna lie i actually like to apologize for that bro like that sound is so funny but yeah you can do whatever you want with this effect like go crazy add some 3d models in top if you like see a lot of people doing that as well you can add some particle overlays as well to top it off it is just according to your liking i'm just giving you a base idea right here so you can get the idea and implement on your own that being said our final effect looks something like this as i told you i used essential effect on this as well so if you want to download essential effect it will be linked down below it is actually the coded preset pack that you need for like music video but yeah subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content uh, gave me to 20k subscriber i really appreciate you all getting me to like 10k that's that was like the dream so yeah i really appreciate that and yeah i'ma see you on the next one peace